iOS 10.3.2 has been released, the official version. Let's find out what it's all about in this video. Let's go. So what is up guys, this is Nick here from Everything Tech helping you to master your technology and iOS 10.3.2 has been made available for the iPhone 5, 5S, SE 6, 6S, 6S Plus, 7 and also iPod Touch 6th generation here. So you can see if I go into the settings of my iPhone, you can see iOS 10.3.2 has been pushed out by Apple in an effort to release a bug fix right before WWDC in June 2017. So you can see it includes bug fixes and improves the security of your iPhone and iPad. This is going to be a relatively smaller update, anywhere from 170 to 200 megabytes. You can see for more information of the security content fixes, visit apple.com for software updates. And I'm going to go ahead and download and install this. And I'm going to go ahead and enter my passcode and I'll be right back when it's done. So while it is updating there on the iPhone 7 Plus, let's talk a little bit about what you're gonna get here. So if you've been watching my videos on the iOS 10.3.2 beta releases, such as the one I did here on the iPhone SE, you would have noticed that this is a relatively smaller update. It's anywhere from 160 to 200 megabytes on the 6S and 7 Plus. So, you know, depending on which phone you have, it's a relatively small update, but this one reveals some fixes to third-party VPN apps that should now work as expected. Also some Siri car kick command stuff has been fixed as well. This is also a bug fix so like I say this is a relatively smaller fix here and this also brings back support for the iPhone 5. It actually got killed in one of the beta versions but brought back support for the 32-bit devices. Also iPad 4th generation and later, iPad mini 2 and later, and iPod touch 6th generation and later. The 5C are also eligible. This also fixes some bugs with core audio, iBooks, as well as iOS surface fixes, as well as kernel fixes. All these things are kind of behind the scenes. Also there is Safari fixes here, as well as security fixes, and just a bunch of other things that you probably would never notice, but it is fixed. So like I say, very minor update here, but I do recommend you go ahead and do it because it is a bug fix nonetheless. It's gonna only help your iPhone in the security. I'd recommend that you have at least 50% battery life if you're gonna go ahead and do this now if you did install a beta version of iOS 10.3.2 what you have to do is you have to go into your general profiles delete that beta version you had and then restart your iPhone and then go back to where you would generally do your software updates for your devices here so yeah this is a pretty cool update I mean we're still waiting for iOS 11 which will be covered here on the channel I'm gonna go ahead and hit install so you might want to subscribe to the channel if you want to see iOS 11 coverage is coming to this channel and let me know also what you want to see in terms of these devices do you want to see speed test on the official version of iOS 10.3.2 as I did recommend a lot of you just go ahead and skip the beta versions and you can see the 7 plus should be done here shortly and I will confirm that but yeah let me know what you want to see going forward on these devices because you know we're going to cover them on iOS 10.3.2 I said I would support these iPhones and we're going to continue doing just that. I'll be back when it's done updating. All right, guys, so my iPhone 7 Plus has now been updated to iOS 10.3.2. As you can see right there, 14F89, no A after the logo, signifying that this is the official version. Now, like I said, without making this too complex and easier for you guys to understand, this is basically just bug fixes only for your iPhone device. I do recommend you go and get this before iOS 11 drops, especially if you're running iOS 10.3 or 10.3.1, as this should improve the security, but we're going to have to check out how it does on performance as well as battery life to see if there's any issues going forward. I highly doubt that there's any issues going forward. And also, also, Apple has released some updates to macOS, watchOS, and tvOS. And let me know if you want me to cover the watchOS. I do have an Apple Watch on deck. And if you guys want to see the Apple Watch update as well. So like I say, post your comments down below what videos you'd like to see versus face off with the new iOS 10.3.2. Would you like to see how the older version of whatever iOS is on each particular iPhone performs? Let me know. 
Anyways, hit the video like button if you enjoyed this video. Leave your feedback if I missed anything to improve on in the future. And anyway, Nick here helping you master your technology. Be sure to be well. I will catch you all in the next one. And peace.